Well, guys, look. This is Gernard fish. Even though they are small and often targeted by larger predatory fish, this doesn't mean that Gernard flying fish only eat algae or plankton. This fish is actually classified as a predator. Primarily, they will look for prey around coral or sandy seabed. The main food of the Gernard flying fish is crustaceans, small fish, and various types of shellfish. There is lobster. Lobsters have a hard exoskeleton, or shell, that does not grow with them. To grow, they undergo a process called molting, where they shed their old shell and form a new, larger shell. During the skin changing process, lobsters are at their most vulnerable phase to attack by predators. This is blue whale. Even though they are considered the largest animals on earth, it turns out that blue whales don't have teeth. But it has baleen. Baleen itself is a kind of fiber that functions to filter food. When a blue whale eats, it will take in as much water as possible, then the food will get caught in the baleen fibers before being swallowed. This is mouth bass. All types of largemouth bass come in unique colors and patterns. Typically, all species of this fish have a similar green color with horizontal spots. Largemouth snapper is famous for its bright green color and horizontal spots on both sides and has a white underbelly. This is garfish. Alligator fish are large fish with flexible armor consisting of ganoid scales. These scales contain a thin layer of ganoin and a bony body with serrated edges that provide effective protection against predators. Throughout history, this fish has also been a game fish for sport fishing and can also be kept as an aquarium fish. There is crab. Crabs are unique animals that look like they don't have heads. The only visible body structure is the legs, body and eyes. Indeed, crab heads are not like the heads of other animals. The head of this clawed animal has a very unique structure and is located like it is attached to its back. There is an octopus. The largest octopuses in all the oceans are known to have no internal skeleton or shell. This is what makes octopuses have soft bodies and can help them move freely. The only hard part of an octopus's body is its beak. The octopus's beak is located at the bottom where the arms meet. This is gulper eel. Gulper eels are oval in shape with long, whip-like tails. This eel can grow up to 100 centimeters in size. On the head there are very small eyes. Even though there is no sunlight in their habitat, the function of the eel's eyes is believed to be the result of evolution to detect dim light. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look over there! This is a hermit crab. Hermit crabs have five pairs of legs or a total of ten legs. Uniquely, these feet have their respective functions. The largest pair of legs is used for pinching and grabbing food. The second and third pairs of legs are used for walking. The fourth pair is used for getting in and out of the shell. And the fifth pair of legs is used to clean and remove dirt from the shell. Wow, this is starfish. Starfish do not have a skeleton that can help them move. Their skeleton serves as protection. They move using a water vascular system. They depend on tube feet located on the ventral side of the snake star's arms, which function for movement and help with feeding. This is a moray eel. Moray eels also have mucus like other eels, in some types of moray, the mucus contains poison. Moray eels have thicker skin with high density. This is a crayfish. Crayfish walk forward, but they can also move backwards only when swimming by using their abdominal movements. Uniquely, they can swim backwards very quickly. And this species will molt at the end of June. 
They usually eat old shells to regain the calcium and phosphate contained within. There is a puffer fish. Puffer fish can also release poison from their hearts that can kill 30 adults. Anyone who is exposed to this poison will experience muscle paralysis, dizziness, heart failure, and even death. It is not surprising that this fish is the second most poisonous animal in the world. This is box fish. Box fish are not poisonous like puffer fish. Its spotted skin like a leopard, its small mouth, and the hexagon shape of its shell easily make people think this fish is strange. Maybe even similar to ancient fish. Therefore, no one sells this fish here, it is probably considered inedible. This is ammonite. Ammonite lived throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction, to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! This is a Decapodiformer! Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is a blue spotted ray! When hunting for prey, the blue spotted ray will bury itself in the sand and wait for fish or crustaceans to pass by, and track the prey using the Ampulla lorenzini organ located above the forehead. After ambushing prey in the form of seabed fish, coral fish, coral crustaceans and coral mollusks, the blue spotted ray will immediately bite it. This is squid! Squids have the extraordinary ability to change the color and pattern of their bodies. This is not only for the attractive appearance, but also as a form of communication with other squid. These color changes can include pattern shape, color intensity, and can even be used for camouflage. This is dolphin. If you have thought that whales and dolphins are fish, then that is not correct. Because in fact, whales and dolphins are not fish but marine mammals. Like mammals, whales and dolphins are warm-blooded animals. This is a dugong. Mermaids are classified as mammals, so dugongs have mammary glands. Apart from that, mermaids also have teeth, tusks, and bristles in their mouths. This aquatic animal is a true herbivore that has a large body, long life, and is adventurous. There is a clownfish. Even though clownfish appear cute and harmless, we should not ignore their natural nature as voracious predators in the wild. The tiny clownfish has a big appetite for plankton, small crustaceans and other microscopic organisms that are found in seawater. This prey activity is an important part of the marine food chain. There is spotted eagle ray. The spotted eagle ray usually eats fish, crustaceans, such as crabs, shrimp and hermit crabs, it also eats mollusks such as bivalves, sea snails and octopus. Spotted eagle rays have special teeth for crushing shelled mollusks. Thank you for watching guys, see you next video.